is really the, the third edition of a really popular MIDI keyboard. So let's get to it. Comes with your traditional MIDI cable, your instruction manuals, and your USB port. For your MIDI control. You also have an earphone jack that you can use for, of course, headphones or uh, auxiliary and a sustain port. You could put a sustain pedal here. This is the computer mode. I don't know if you guys can see. This is the computer mode here. This is the battery mode. So if you're going to use the bus power, I mean the battery power, it's going to be here. It weighs about the same. It's a little, a little heavier, but it's not much. Um, it does take, what is it? It does take AA batteries here. Uh, it doesn't come with batteries. Um, <laughs> first thing I wanna talk about with this is the speaker. So, now, this speaker, I have it all the way on maximum. It's not loud enough for me, to be honest, so that, that part's a little disappointing, but it's a speaker nonetheless, you know, whether it's your drums or not. You also have two buttons here. These are your drums to scroll through. These are your keyboard, your different keys. Uh, these two buttons are brand new as well. What these two do, if you hold them down together, let's go to honky tonk, I guess. Hold them down together, program one of them. If you wanna bring that back up after you've changed, cause there are 128 sounds, so. And it loads right back up. All right, we're good. I mean, typical grand piano. And I'm just gonna keep going through these. I hope you all can read read what they are. This hooked up to a Harman Kardon 4, if you were wondering. There's the contrabass before with the, the, the cello. So yeah, it, it gives you a good variation of groups, instrument groups. One thing, what are we on? We're 
on 54? Okay. I want to show you. I think we did the bass. The bass, when you turn the octave down, it sounds really nice. So yeah. sensor on here just a few tuba for example sounds really nice low french horn a brass synth a few brass synths exactly actually soprano sax there's alto sax there's tenor sax there's baritone sax and oboe so yeah english horn bassoon sounds. I'm actually going to save this one. That one's really cool. These sounds are really rich. Like they're not light at all. They're they're very realistic. And there it goes. Uh, let's get to the drums real quick. Now the drums have two banks per. Uh, kit. There's only 10 kits. And some of them do repeat. Such a, For this one, you're going to hear this one a lot in a lot of the kits.
this little bubbly sound. For the drum kits and uh yeah so that's pretty much it keep in mind that this is a this is a standalone but like i said optimally i could only see myself using this in a jam session um plugged up to a speaker for, of course or just basically practicing you know you could be on the train if you're just a, a, a finger drummer or you know do your little melodies wherever you're at with no with no uh, USB power. A few things that I think Akai could have improved. There's always room for improvement. Since this is a wireless kind of ordeal, I feel like they should have taken the wireless aspect a little further and put in Bluetooth so that you could pair it up with maybe a MPC Live or some other wireless uh, MIDI control that, you know, maybe even a iPad or an iPhone because there's a lot of great apps with that Apple has to make music with. So um, that would have been really awesome if they had to just, you know, put a little Bluetooth or Wi-Fi in here. Other than that, I think it's great. So that pretty much wraps it up. If you have any questions about this product, comment below and I'll gladly be back, get back with you. This retailed for $129 at Guitar Center. Not sure about anywhere else. Uh, but yeah. I'm Chilled Coffee, and this was a review of the MPK Mini Play. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you.